Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at Heilman's Old Style Beer. This is a 16 ounce can and it contains 4.6% alcohol by volume. So this beer has a really, really long history to it and it's kind of complicated. Uh, kind of like Ham's beer, sort of, uh, which Ham's, of course, is a mid, uh, beer from the Midwest, from Minnesota, as is Old Style, um, which is from Wisconsin and uh, is quite popular, especially in the uh, Chicagoland area and uh, basically northern Illinois and kind of places around there. Um, the brewery was started by a man named, and I hope I'm saying his name right, Gottlieb uh, Heilman, who was a German immigrant. And the company, it, oh, the owners, it kind of got passed through a few different owners. Stroh's owned it at one time. Um, I believe Paps owned it at one time as well. And then... Um, Sometime in the mid 80s, and it could have been between all this, I believe Alan Bond kind of had a hand in this somewhere, which Alan Bond was, is a uh, businessman. Essentially, he's been compared to essentially the Australian version of Donald Trump, if that makes any sense. But um, the brewery today, I believe, is owned by a company called City Brewing. I'm not sure. I believe that's who owns it now. And, um, gosh, kind of <laughs> drawing a blank there for a second. But, yeah, it's it's been through a few different owners. But, um, so, anyway, let's give it a try. It's been a while since I've had this, but you see it around sometimes where I live. Uh, some it depends on uh, depends on where you go. I've seen this in Indiana uh, a good amount of times, and I've picked it up there before in the past. It has a pleasant taste to it. Kind of on the sweet side, kind of like your typical kind of American beer, but nice taste to it. Um, pretty smooth. I'm not positive if they still croisin the beer or not. That was a big thing back in the day. They pushed that it uh, the beer was croisined, but um, I don't know if that's any longer the case. But yeah, yeah, this is a good beer. I mean, this is a good beer to have like uh, like with a bowl of chips, like say like with a sandwich, like if you want to eat a late lunch or you just want a beer with lunch, that's good for that. Especially like with a BLT or something like that. Or it's good say like with a steak dinner or something if you want a beer but don't want something too terribly heavy. That's good for that. And this is even good for like a uh, barbecue or like a grill out. Um, perfect for that. I think this for um, an American style beer that's not too expensive. I mean, I think this is a lot better than Budweiser or Miller as far as I'm concerned. But um, I mean, it's absolutely a lesser expensive beer that doesn't suck. Um, decent. I would have to recommend this. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day.